things. Uh, let, let me give one numerical so they'll be easy for you. Already we have done this in friction chapter. Let me take that as example. This is rho. This is that rest. Now when I give velocity, so in what direction the friction will act towards left, no? And the friction force acting on the so this will be the I think the the diagram. The block, the plank will undergo displacement. The plank will be somewhere here, and the block will be somewhere here. So the friction force, how it will be acting? Fk and Fk, and because of frictional force, this will accelerate. Al already we have discussed this. Since there's relative motion, so still the friction will be acting. So somewhere finally, both will move with a common velocity. Then there's no relative motion, no friction will act. Can you remember this? We have discussed earlier. Uh, now <coughs> uh, let's calculate the final kinetic energy. And compare with the initial kinetic energy. Friction does negative work on the block M1, does positive work on the this one. So for a block plank system, for a system, shall I say, this is an internal. The person stands here. So what he says, friction is the internal force. Fk is a that's all no. What will come? It is an internal force. So, what is the net force acting on system? It says zero. Plus F K minus F K. Uh, now, these internal forces can they do work? These internal forces can they do work? S, yes. sir, how do you can say? So, we'll do one thing: initial kinetic energy, final kinetic energy. I, I'm just applying conservation of momentum. Initial momentum. As the net force is zero, no, so momentum will be conserved. Initial momentum equal to final momentum. Initial momentum, mu, final momentum. So what is the velocity? This finally, m1 plus m2. Let's calculate the the kinetic energy of this. Initial kinetic energy, m1 u square by two. Final kinetic energy, m1 v square by 2, m2 v square by 2. How do you can, uh, is it kf equal to ki? That will cross check, no. m1 plus m2 by 2. What is v? m1 u by m1 plus m2 whole square. You can see from here, m1 u square by 2 m1 plus m2. Or, or this will be what is the conclusion? Uh, where do this kinetic energy has gone? The friction only. So therefore, net work done by the friction equal to change in kinetic energy. So who, who does work here? The friction only. And they are internal forces. Sir, how you can say internal? Because if you take this is system, if you take this is the system. So it will say this is system. Plus Fk minus Fk will become internal, no? And so who did work? No, the internal forces did work. So here what we can write. Initial kinetic energy plus work done by this should be equal to final kinetic energy. So internal forces, can they do work? Yes. So what is the conclusion? Therefore, internal forces can do work. I'm not saying must. Possible. You should not say the internal forces, the work done by internal forces must be zero. Need not. It, it need not here. S.C. Verma, every statement is one numerical. If you are reading S.C. Verma means, so how you should read? There should be one uh, notebook and there should be the, 
pen and when you read one sentence or one paragraph when you read it one situation will be there that situation you are supposed to assume draw the diagram do analysis this was the method of using sc one more book okay got this so work done by internal forces internal forces can do work fine and now uh, sir where do this energy gone heat generating <coughs> so where do this will be converted as converted as heat at the interface of block and plank in exam you have to be very careful when you encounter the theoretical questions so only if you have a clarity of idea touch it otherwise don't make a guess because uh, the theoretical ideas may be in other subjects may be information based but in physics not like that again they are related to some core fundamental ideas basic things we should analyze then we should conclude here not like something information based here